Welcome to part one of a tutorial where I'll be teaching you how to do Canvas JavaScript and make games with it. So first thing we're going to do is, as the name of it implies, Canvas JavaScript, we're going to add a Canvas element and set our ID to Canvas. This is actually very important. And then set our width and our height. And close that out. Oh wait, line auto just completes. Now for this tutorial, you can use any old text editor. Doesn't really matter. Um, in fact, you could really get away with just using Notepad. But hey, everything what I'm using is Visual Studio Code, that is completely free. And yeah. As you can see, you can actually make this just, you can really just open it in with anything. Like, for example, our JavaScript, I could open it with Notepad. You could seriously edit any of this with Notepad. But for tutorial sake, we're going to be using this because it's all nice and colorful. And hey, who doesn't like colors? We're also going to add our script, src equals script.js because I have a script.js in the same area and there we there's our script what we should be seeing is absolutely nothing and that's a good sign it really isn't because we don't know anything now in order to give us a little border we're going to do style equals border 2px solid black and reload. There we go. That means everything's working nice and fine. If you don't have this problem, make sure that this entire line is put out properly. We're not here to learn HTML. We're here to learn Canvas JavaScript. Now, it is required that you do know a bit of JavaScript before this. I'm not going to be teaching JavaScript. So, now for some things that we're going to be covering. We're going to be covering how to make boxes, how to make circles, how to make lines, and how to add color. Now, first, we need to actually get this canvas element, because, hey, canvas JavaScript, to combine the both, we actually need our canvas. So, with this, we would do our canvas equals documents dot get el, el not, not get animations, get elements by ID canvas. Remember that this canvas ID is the same ID as this. You could have this as Bob, but this would also have to be Bob. I'm just going to leave it as canvas. And we also want to get, no, we just have our element. We just have the actual element itself. What we want is we want the stuff on the element, the actual stuff that we're going to be drawing to. So with this, we would do var ctx for context equals canvas dot get context 2D. And don't forget your semicolons that will cost you lines upon lines of error pain. So now, this doesn't do anything, we're just declaring variables here. And declaring variables doesn't do anything unless the variable declaration actually has something to do with things. So with our newly defined context, we're going to do ctx dot fill rect, and you'll see it's got four parameters. An X, a Y, a width, and a height. Now, our X and our Y are going to be for our top left corner. Now, these can go anywhere from 0, 0 to 500, 500, as determined by these points. It's all determined, although those uh, individual measurements are determined by your individual heights. So, if your display isn't complete, if your display isn't this small, if say if you have a 4k display you might want to bump up that resolution a little bit so now we do ctx to fill rect and put some coordinates in. let's just do 0 0 10 10 so nice round numbers and voila a rectangle from 0 0 with a width of 10 and a height of 10 all fine and good but that rectangle is just there. We can change the parameters to add the x coordinate over, 
you can actually do even like floats like 10.5 it'll turn out a little blurry but hey who's caring we could do things like 200 but if you do something like negative 5 then it goes kind of half off now unlike uh something like scratch uh yeah i don't know why i'm saying talking about scratch but hey some no things that you should note um you can draw outside so we could draw this box at 500 500 and it won't show up now you might be wondering why won't it show up well that's because we're drawing it at the corner and then it's within its height or having it so that way our box is kind of outlined like this so let's just keep that inside for now Now, as you might have experienced in your JavaScript uh, time, is that if you do a well true loop, it doesn't work out. So you now you might be wondering, how will we do a loop? Part two. Now we can also do something. We can also do an arc. Ctx dot arc. This will take. Let's actually. Keep that as a fill rex. So ctx dot arc. It's going to take a x, a y, a radius, a start angle, it, an end angle, and this is not a required argument. So now let's do it in the middle. So 250, 250, and a radius, for those of you who don't know, a radius is. So r is a radius. D is the diameter. Diameter is twice as much as the radius. Things to note. So, let's do it with a radius of 50, which means that its total diameter will be 100. Hey, guess what? When you're coding, there's going to be a lot of math. There's going to be a lot of math in this series. So, if you're afraid of math, viewer discretion is advised. Alright, so start angle. Uh, and we also want it to be a full circle. So, 2 times math dot pi. This is in radians, by the way, and uh, a radian, so radians, so radian is literally one radian is as much as the length. These are all radians, like, um, if you're going to be starting at zero, which isn't apparently on here, uh, zero is also two pi, because... So 0 starts here, and if we want to do a 90 degree, we do pi divided by 2, pi, 3 over 2 pi, and 2 pi will be to give it our, a whole circle. We could do 4 pi, that's just too much, that's just more drawing for the computer. So now if we do this, oh, whoa, 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 why isn't this doing anything? Well, that's because we need to ctx dot stroke. This tells, and we also need to begin our path, ctx dot begin path this tells our computer to begin a path and then draw an arc with these parameters and then stroke it this will make an outline we could also do ctx dot fill to fill it in so now we got a box and a circle let's make the box a little bit bigger so that way you can see it box circle now what else do we need yes we need lines so we now can do ctx dot begin path again. Ctx dot move to, and this will take an x and a y. So let's do it from zero zero, and then we want a line from five to five hundred five hundred. So we'll do ctx dot line to. Hey, look at that! It's a line to the coordinates of five hundred five hundred. A good way to think about this is you're taking an invisible pen. You're moving the invisible pen to zero zero. You're moving your invisible pen to zero zero, and then you're drawing it all the way to five hundred five hundred. But in order to make it appear, we need ctx dot stroke. And there's a nice line. Now, because we did stroke and fill for the R one, what happens when you do fill for this? Nothing. Why is that? Well, that's because in order for this to work, we need a actual third one so we could do ccx dot line two again 
drawing another line from that 500 500 because our invisible pen moved from here all the way to here and now we want to put a line from this point to another point let's put it to somewhere over here so that will be like uh that will be more on the lines of 2400 now ccx stuff fill and we have this little shape but it's very hard to distinguish the uh, them from each other because it's all black so now let's do color what you've all been waiting for so let's color this purple so ctx dot fill style because it's our color is a style and we want to set that because it's a variable in itself we want to set that fill style to some kind of color let's do purple and already it's all purple why is that just think about it like you're changing the ink on your pen if you're taking your invisible pen and you're changing the ink on it it'll still keep drawing with that exact same ink until it says to recharge your ink so now just it's all linear you want to fill it with purple then we want to so we want our square to be purple, our circle to be red, and our triangle to be blue. Let's also put some comments in here so we know what they are later. Circle. And then over here, don't forget your semicolons. Over here is our triangle. And here is our square. CTX stuff fill style is purple. Then we want to change this to red. So CTX uh, fill style equals red. And what did I say this was? Yes, I said it was blue. So CTX stuff fill style equals blue. If you're wondering what kind of colors it supports, a good uh, website which I will link in the description is uh, CSS colors. This, this has a giant list which has a lot of CSS colors because for Canvas JavaScript it uses all these colors as if they were actual uh, CSS colors. So any of these colors right here with like corn silk, coral, orange, you could even do things like RGB, you could do hexadecimal, they're all supported. So I will... Re you should read up on that and now we can just make all the things we want now there's one other thing so let's ccx dot begin path again ccx dot arc let's put this at somewhere like 400 400 or well, let's put this a little bit higher up at like 100 is with a radius of 40 start angle 0 and then 2 times math.py and ctx dot stroke what you'll notice is that it strokes in black we can actually change it with ctx dot stroke style and we'll set this to something like let's do a hexadecimal when I'm just gonna put six random digits down and uh, apparently that's an orange so if you look closely we have a little orangey circle so yeah here's how you can draw boxes circles lines and color with canvas JavaScript just remember JavaScript is very linear and which it reads from top to bottom which is why we first drew our square then we drew a circle then we drew a triangle which drew over both of them which is why our triangle fell on top if you like this video you know what to do hit that like button and if you want more content please subscribe thank you